Respected Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, Guest, Guest of Honor, Dignitaries, and Invitees, and my dear students. Way back in 2018, giving importance to Ayur system of medicine, Enopaya DMTV University has started Enopaya Ayurveda Medical College and Hospital, Enopaya Homeopathy Medical College and Hospital, and Enopaya Naturopathy Medical College and Hospital at Ayush campus, Naringana, Nirlakata Post. Ever since then, we have serving the mankind of the needy and we have shown our presence at this part of the country. By the continuous support of the Chancellor and the Pro-Chancellor and all the statutory officers of the University, today we are fortunate enough to open the high-end facilities with Ayurveda treatments near to Mangalore. I was talking, I was interacting with the one of the personalities of Ayurveda and I was wondered to say that though Mangalore has been identified as a medical city, hardly you get a very good Ayurveda facility in Mangalore. So, Enopaya is the first one to provide high-end facility with Ayurveda treatment to the people of Mangalore, to the people of Karnataka or India. Today, we are witnessing Ayurveda facilities at Niyasha, my name is Niyasha Ayurveda and I am very happy to welcome our supporter, Chancellor Dr. Enapaya Abdullah Kunji. On behalf of Enapaya Ayurveda Medical College and Hospital, I welcome you sir. I request Medical Superintendent Dr. Lashmi Shobhadya to offer the sapling and welcome. Government of India has formulated a new body to look after the affairs of Indian system of medicine that is National Commission for Indian system of medicine. Previously the, all the affairs were managed by CCM. Now, since last two years, we are witnessing lot of changes and streamlining of activities at center level. We have our own person as president of Marbism, NCISM. He has agreed to be with us today. In spite of his busy schedule, he is here today. On behalf of Enopaya Dim TV University, I welcome Dr. Raghurama Bhatt. May I request Vice Principal Dr. Sridhar Gokale to welcome with a sapling. Who is here? And it's my privilege to welcome him too. I know he's a very familiar personality in and around of Mangalore Udupi. You know, I was attending my internship in 1999 and I was attending my surgery OPD. At the end of the day, at 5 o'clock, when we closed down my registrar, the number was 345. You may be wonder to know what is that 345. The number was 
total number of patients seen by Dr. Mulidhar Sharma on that day. It was not for a day, it was not for a week, it was not for a month, it was not for years. He did it for two decades. The number he maintained for two decades. Such a famous personality is with us and he is there as to bless us and uh, I am very happy to welcome him on behalf of Enapaya Dimti University. <laughs> welcome to Dr. Nolidhar Sharma. I need not introduce another personality on the stage. He is a very familiar man. He is known to everyone in Kannada industry. He is a known man all over the India, all over the world. And he will be Brand Ambassador for Enopai Ayurveda. I hope it so. <laughs> I would like to welcome on behalf of Enopai Ayurveda Medical College and Enopai Dimti University Music Director, Singer, Guru Kiran. I request Dr. Zenika Disoza to welcome Dr. Guru Kiran with a sapling. Thank you. In the campus should be supported by the senior faculty and we have a very good supporter with us, Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Shipati Rao. I welcome on behalf of Hennepin Dimitri University. To happen this, we have a very good, good supporter, we have a strong believer on Ayurveda. Ramesh Bolar is with us today and I hope this will be a long term tie up with the Enopai Ayurveda or Enopai University and Mr. Ramesh Bolar and we will be taking this tie up to the next level. On behalf of Enopai Deemed to be University, I welcome Ramesh Bolar. The statutory officers of the university, deans, associate deans, section heads, center heads, staff, students. Also, I take this opportunity to welcome the media and all the invitees to this August gathering. Thank you. For that warm welcome note, we have with us the Honorable President of Marbism, National Council of Indian System of Medicine, New Delhi, Dr. Raghurama Bhattayu. May I kindly request the President, Dr. Raghurama Bhattayu, the Chief Guest of this inaugural program to deliver his inaugural address. Visheshavagi, Nani li Kannadadali Matnarati Dene, Yakin Tundre, Visheshavagi, Aspatra and Tandaga, Ali Samana Janru Burudu Jaste, Samana Janra Bashaya, the Kannada Dali, Matnada Vekai, the Elrigu Kannada Arathaka then Tankurthene Nano Kannadigane, Ide Urina Luti Beladano, Ide Uralinano Udiogo no Maride, Hagagi, Kannada Dali Matna like a Sikka Waka Shavana. Upayogas Kolik and Nanatuba Santo Shapartene. Ayurveda Vishwamanyate Padita Irvanta Kalaidu Vishwamanyate Visheshavagi Ayurveda Chikitsa Padhatike Siktaide Ayurveda the Chikitse Lirva Vishishtake Siktaide Visheshavagi Panjakarma Chikitsa Padhati Matu Shara Sutra Chikitsa Padhati Idu Iga Tumba Ayurveda Chetra Dali Prasidha Vaktaide Visheshavagi Panchakarma Atyanta Prasidha Aktaide Yavdana Ili Janarige Upalabda Akta Janarige Kurtaidare Siktaide Aderiti Namamunde Ili Upasita Ridare Muralidar Sharma Aru Shalya Tantrante Nelative Surgery Ayurveda Shalya Chikitsaya Vishishta Nishna Taru 
ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಕ್ಷಾರಸೂತ್ರ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಅಂತ ಏನಿದೆ ಫಿಸ್ಟುಲ ಭಗಂದರ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಆ್ಯನಲ್ ಫಿಸ್ಟುಲಾಕ್ಕೆ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಟವಾದ ಉಪಯೋಗಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಇಂಥ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಬೇರೆ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈವನ್ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಇಲ್ಲದಂಥ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಸ್ಟುಲೆಕ್ಟಮಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಸ್ಟುಲೆಕ್ಟಮಿನೂ ಬೇಡ ಅಡ್ಮಿಷನೂ ಬೇಡ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಪೇಯ್ನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದು ಅನಸ್ತೇಸಿಯ ಜನರಲ್ ಅನಸ್ತೇಸಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಡಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಅನಸ್ತೇಸಿಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಷಾರ ಸೂತ್ರವನ್ನು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಭಗಂದರದ ನಾಡಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಅಥವಾ ಭಗಂದರ ಕ್ಯಾನಲ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಆ ಕ್ಷಾರ ಸೂತ್ರ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವಂಥ ಹುಣ್ಣೆ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಗುಣಪಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಅದನ್ನು ಗುಣಪಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಅಥವಾ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಷಾರಸೂತ್ರ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ ನಾವು ಬದಲಿಸಿದಾಗ ಅದು ಆ ಫಿಸ್ತುಲ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಗುಣ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಇದು ಚಮತ್ಕಾರಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಅನುಭವಿಸಿದವರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಭಗಂದರದ ಕಷ್ಟ ಏನು ಎಷ್ಟು ತೊಂದರೆ ಇದೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಫಿಸ್ಟುಲೆಕ್ಟಮಿ ಯಾರು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಫಿಸ್ಟುಲೆಕ್ಟಮಿಯಿಂದ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಪುನಃ ರಿಕವರಿ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಪ್ಸ್ ಪುನಃ ಅದು ಉದ್ಭವ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಗುಣ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಕ್ಷಾರಸೂತ್ರ ಪದ್ಧತಿಯಿಂದ ಯಾವುದೇ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ನೋವಿಲ್ಲದೆ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗೆ ಅಡ್ಮಿಟ್ ಆಗದೆ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಸುಂದರ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪುನಃ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಪ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಆಗದಂಥ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಯುನಿಕ್ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದದಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಇದು ಕೇವಲ ಒಂದು ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ಕ್ರಮ ಅಲ್ಲ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ಕ್ರಮಗಳು ಅಗ್ನಿಕರ್ಮ ಇರಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಕ್ಷಾರಕರ್ಮ ಇರಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಪಂಚಕರ್ಮ ಇರಲಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ಪದ್ಧತಿಗಳು ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ಕ್ರಮಗಳು ವಿಧಾನಗಳು ಆಯುರ್ವೇದದಲ್ಲಿವೆ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿಧಾನಗಳನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದದ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಾ ಇರುವುದು ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಹರ್ಷದ ವಿಷಯ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ಏನೇ ಪೋಯ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಮಹಾವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂಥ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಆದರ್ಶ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾಲಯವನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ನಾನು ಕಲ್ತ ನಂತರ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾಲಯವನ್ನು ಸ್ಥಾಪಿಸಬಹುದು ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೈ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಅನ್ನುವ ಒಂದು ಕಲ್ಪನೆ ಕೂಡ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದಲೇ ಸಿಗ್ತದೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ಮುಂದೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಕೊಡುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಆದರ್ಶ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಕಟಿತ ಆಗಲಿ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಆಶಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾರಣೀಭೂತರಾದಂಥ ರಮೇಶ್ ಬೋಳಾರ್ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಆದಂಥ ಅಬ್ದುಲ್ ಕುಂಜಿಯವರಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಅಭಿನಂದನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಈ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾಲಯ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಯಶಸ್ವಿಯಾಗಲಿ ಯಶಸ್ವಿಯಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಮಗ್ರ ಕೇವಲ ಮಂಗಳೂರಿನ ಜನತೆಗಲ್ಲ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಜನತೆಗಲ್ಲ ದೇಶದ ಜನತೆಗಲ್ಲ ಸಮಗ್ರ ವಿಶ್ವದ ಜನತೆಗೆ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಸಿಗುವಂತಾಗಲಿ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಯಶಸ್ವಿಯಾಗಿ ಮುಂದುವರಿಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹಾರೈಸ್ತಾ ನನ್ನ ವಚನಗಳನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಗಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೈರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆನರ್ ಆರ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರೈಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ದಟ್ ಆ ಏರ್ ಟುಡೇ ಹೂ ವುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವನ್ ವುಡ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟುಡೇ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಕನ್ನಡ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಟು ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗ
career with NFI initially. Uh, and I'm really proud to say I come from a land uh, which started its first operation, Sushruta. I'm very proud that I come from land where Ayurveda started. I think Ayur in the oldest of scriptures, in even Atharva Veda, Ayurveda was mentioned. Uh, but today, of course, because we have changed a lot in times, of course, the 200 years of British rule made us feel so inferior that, of course, we don't believe in our own culture or system. Uh, we just go in for, of course, allopathy works great. Allopathy, they treat symptoms more than the disease itself. And that has evoluted and uh, evolution happened in about 100 years. And it happens like today it will be one, after five years they'll say, no, no, this is not right, this is right. But I don't think so. Ayurveda, Ayurveda has gone through a lot of, because it's the oldest and the longest civilization ever in the history of the world. Now, uh, simple, I had a small, Kannada, uh, Tulu, English, anything. I'm not good at talking, I'm pretty bad, I'm just trying it. English, Kannada, Tulu. Kannada, na? Okay. Nanige, one son issue itu, initially, na no, I wanted to be a singer initially. Na no, Bengal go there, Bengal go takshna, onas initial V Manoharo, Shankar Ganesh, the music directors are there. Na no, hard tha ida. Mangalore in the hogi ali hard it takshna, first track hard a karne ida itu. Starting mudlu, we had to sing with the track. And next day, after two days, when the song recording is over, final mathe lyrics may be changed. So, itara mathe hard beka geto. He hard a koda ga track correcta karti ni. Hard a koda ga it got a small problem. Yen andre gantali yena problem agi it is to bleed. On that to problem nadi thay that time ali. So, kele andre direct music director said that you know it is a mental problem, intention akta idhi adi ki itara akta idhi anta. Amele gota idhi it is. The problem was something concerned with the climate change and allergy. In Bangalore, there was an allergy start. Of course, the treatment is anti-allergies, anti-instruments. You have to take it permanently. In this case, I was a doctor. If you have an allergy, there are two types of allergies. One is regular dust, which we can't avoid. इन उन दिन रहते फूड फूड नम के कंट्रोल की सीखते हैं तो इले लिस्ट कोट्रो ये दो तीन बार दा दो तीन बार दे दो तीन बार दंत ये तो नन फॉलो मरते थे इट वाज़ टू वर्क दिस इज़ एलोपेथी ट्रीटमेंट इट्स अल्प इट इज़ टू वर्क ये दाद में ले सोल्पर टाइम में ले ना नहीं आवदा आयुर्वेद � बेरे ये लाल मेडिसिन अली ऑल ह्यूमंस आर ट्रीटेड इक्वली ये लाल ट्रीटमेंट तो ये लोग रिगु उन दो टैबलेट कोटर ये लोग रिगा सिंटम इधर ये लोग रिगा दाने कोटर इल्ली इनों ने तो मोर टाइप ऑफ मोरा नाक टाइप ऑफ बॉडी तो आता काफा पिता अंत नंगो थे यायरोडस बयाग तम आता रखा सो उ तीन बार दंते हिले दरा अधु नन नंगे टोटल एलर्जी दे आइटम याव तीन बार दंते हिले दे देन स्टार्टर वर्किंग बट इन्होंन प्रॉब्लम है इंद्रा ये ली आयुर्वेद चना को मारता रहें तो गोती ला उन यार खड़ा हुआ दरा यू फील यू वन दो यू हेल्ड देंगे यू फील नॉट नाइस इट्स अ स्मॉल प्लेस क्रैम्पी प Fifty percent ada tu work aja kat ayam ini dali. So, ini tu baru ni. Kelasa shroom aja dera. Aduh manggulu rally. Definitely, I'll definitely make use of all this wishing, niyasha, ayurveda, all the best. And of course, this is a much needed thing in Mangalore. And I'm very proud. Ya, tu, ini hari dengi ayam Mangalore is good for everything. I think all the medical facilities, colleges, education, and this is a milestone. Today we have started ayurveda. Wishing them all the best. Thank you. Acha. It was indeed a privilege to listen to you. We are blessed to have a stalwart 
an icon of Ayurveda, a great mentor where his students carry the nostalgia of his great classes, wonderful teachings and cherish in their professional sphere and guru. May I humbly request Professor Dr. Muralidhar Sharma, Professor Emeritus of STM College. Dayas, of the Dayas, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am quite happy to see this campus and the ambience of the hospital. Now, when it comes to the question of Ayurvedic treatment, uh, there is one aspect. One is about the treatment of the disease, medicines. Okay, that's done everywhere. But there is something beyond that. The other part is about the diet and the living style. Lifestyle and the diet are the most important part of the Ayurvedic uh, approach to the health. I don't say the approach to the disease. It's the approach to the health. So if you eat well and if you live well, you won't have the disease. That's the basic issue. Now what is that living well and that eating well? Very simple. The, when you eat, the rule is, rule from Ayurveda is, you eat only when, or till the extent, till you still feel hungry. Stop eating at that level where you still continue to feel hungry. Do not eat full. That's one basic rule. If you follow that basic rule, probably 70% of the diseases would not occur. And it should be done every day, not that one day only, it should be done every day. One. Another thing is, do physical activity. The earlier days, now, in Sushruta, the treatment for diabetes is a very interesting issue. The protocol of the treatment for the diabetes is uh, the person has to move about from one village to the other without staying anywhere for beyond one day. And he should live on the food which is picked up from the land, from the plant, uh, from wherever the food, uh, these uh, grains have you know, fallen, those have to be picked up by himself and then eat. Do not store the food for the next day. So you have to go back every day, get the food from the natural sources, prepare on your own, do not depend upon the story. So majority of, then if you follow that, definitely yes, as we had our ancestors who are living for hundreds of years without diseases, quite healthy, it's possible. But is it practicable now in the present day situation where you need to have a vehicle to move around Without the vehicle, probably even there could be a situation where you may have a machine to move within the house also. That could be the situation. And I have seen people who do the exercise on that instrument, but to mop the sweat of that person, you have an assistant. Uh, in TV, I have seen that kind of a situation. So the lifestyle has changed. And about the uh, psychology of storage and storing for the next generation and maybe uh, for many generations together. That's what we have now as the goal of the life. So uh, earning and then storing for, uh, not keeping enough for your own, the next or maybe next many generations. Many times it becomes a level where it goes to a meaningless level. So that kind of parigraha is uh, another cause of the disease. Now if it's the, in that kind of a situation, to provide a health care from Ayurvedic point of view, the people should have some access where there is uh, some satisfaction from the current mindset point of view. That's what the ambience of this hospital provides. At the same time, it also gives some difficulty in the access. What I saw is when we moved around, you had to move up and down with the vehicle. Probably, and there is no public transport facility also. So if a person comes to this facility, walking from that uh, main road, 10% of the disease will be cured. Another 10% with the ambience look, it will be cured. The next 20% physicians will do. Rest of the things, maybe there is, I think I heard there is some program of uh, education, teaching, uh, uh, some sort of uh, uh, maybe counselling also, that's a part of the program uh, supposed to be there. With that you will have a complete health care. And that complete health care is not for a disease specific treatment, it is to prevent the disease of, as such. So that would be a very nice approach. And that's the real need of the day. In the present day situation, we need that kind of an approach absolutely. And uh, that message of 
uh, having a proper food and proper lifestyle being the key to the health is, is to be conveyed very powerfully. Of course, everyone speaks about that, but the next point would be the same. The, whatever, the habit we have already inculcated, it's quite difficult to avoid that habit, but there has to be a model and probably this institution would give you a practical model of that. Uh, and I hope uh, that kind of an approach would be maintained and that would be meeting the need of the society. Uh, and I congratulate the uh, 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 Sir uh, Abdullah Kunji sir and his team for having this kind of an idea. And that crisp note on wellness. Art is not a handicraft, it is a transmission of feelings. The poison elegance of this atmosphere speaks of his works. I request Mr. Ramesh Bola. Frankly speaking, I don't know what to say because they covered everything. About Ayurveda, about Mangalore, everything. Anyways, uh, thank you all for being here on this auspicious day to help us to write a new chapter, Niyasha, Ayurveda, Health and Wellness. I welcome everyone. My respect to Dr. Yanapoya Abdullah sir. My respect to Dr. Raghuram Bhatt, sir. My respect to Guruji. I don't know how to call him. I call him Guru, Guru Anna, Guruji, Guru sir. <laughs> we all know him. <laughs> He's always been so close to me. He's my older brother. He's my mentor. He was the one who actually, in everywhere, I mean, I remember, after I moved to U.S., he was the only person who was a visitor. <laughs> okay, uh, let me continue. Uh, my respect to Murugadhar, Dr. Murugadhar Sharma. My respect to, uh, sorry. See, the reason I left India back in 98, since then, I've been a guest to this country, my own country. I used to visit for like two or three weeks. The maximum. Whenever I come here, I spend time with the family, visit few places, temples, party, go back. So it went on. So if I if I don't recognize your name or by appearance, please pardon me. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, there is nothing to cover on Ayurveda and the whole facility. I just wanted to talk about, introduce myself, and talk about the motive behind what I've created, Niyasha, the challenges I faced. Then the next step joining hands to Jaya Vidya Hanapoya to promote Ayurveda. Basically, I'm born and brought up in Bangalore. Kannada Bharate, Tulu Bharate, Tulu Varpundu. And I stayed in Kannada Apathanate. I'm not that comfortable. So bear with me, please. Again, I know everyone has to get back their work. So I'll keep it short. Uh, because I, I feel the introduction from my end is important because none of them, they know me. Of. So I, once I bought I, my education, I had my education in Bangalore. I moved to Bangalore, Bombay. I'm a technology guy. I love technology. So I was in all these big companies where I had big uh, clients like Air India. I remember actually, uh, I was the one that was responsible to migrate the Air India checking system, booking system from mainframe to super mini computers. Actually, I was the one who achieved the connectivity from Bombay to Bangalore. So before that, they used to always, if they want to do an international booking, they used to call Bombay. So I was fortunate to get that offer. When ATM machine was introduced in India, I was one of the three who had been trained by PSI Bull. So I installed the first machine in India. So everywhere I stepped in, I got that opportunity. So back in 98, during Y2K, um, the whole world has a buzz. Y2K, everyone is going to die <laughs> in the technology field. So I got an opportunity, I had a call from uh, US. So I said, I was very happy living in India, especially this part of the India, because I love Indian food, good friends, circle, beautiful family. I had no idea, you know, no plan to move to the US. But because of Y2K, I thought, let me just go there for a year and come back. Went there, my perception of being outside the country changed actually. The technology, the bleeding edge technology, I get to work. So I moved from, as a beginner, all the way to associate, senior associate, AVP, VP. I end up uh, managing the Deutsche Bank, uh, uh, what do you call the global support for the production line, everywhere. 
Life was beautiful actually, but only thing which ever hit me and it was always, I was thinking, when do I get an opportunity to come back? Oh, by the way, the same time I met my wife, Kavita, she's, she's actually, she was supposed to be here because of family commitment, she couldn't, but she was the one who actually made this happen, right, along with others. So, I used to always tell her, since I have a family there, now coming back to India, contributing something is not, it's not, a, it's not possible, right? But I was just waiting for an opportunity. Back in 90, I think, uh, I forgot, 2014, 2015, I, have, I had bought few properties in Mangalore. This investment. My brother, older brother, Jagdish, the civil <laughs> engineer, he's one of the responsible, he's the one who built the whole structure. It was my idea, he made it possible. So he brought me here when I was, when he visited India to see the property. And I had that good vibe of this place. There's something good about this. But I had no idea about building anything, doing something. Then he could figure out because the way I went into it, the road was kind of narrow. So I was not that pleased with the property. But he figured out and said, let me show you the neighborhood. And took me around. He drove me all the way till Infosys. I was shocked to see huge institution, Empire Medical College, Dental College, KS Agade, all the way. I'm like, when did this happen? No, it happened, but I was ignorant. Because whenever I visited in India, I never went anywhere. It was just spending time with friend, family, going back. Then I thought, since we have a property here, I should, I, I should be able to do something, which affiliates, sorry, affiliates with the, one of the institution, college. But how can I do it? Because living there, starting a business was nearly impossible. Then we were discussing, I, was, I started talking to about, about this with my friends. I remember that evening, I was sitting with Devi Anna, Guru's younger brother. <laughs> he was the one who said, why don't you start a hostel here? There are so many, probably he doesn't remember that. <laughs> so he said, why don't you start a hostel? There are so many colleges, institutions here. I said, makes sense actually. So that way I could do, so contribute something. So I spoke to my mom, uh, sorry. Uh, obviously my mom, but my wife. My wife said, it's fantastic, but make sure you give them all those facilities where you don't get outside. What you see in the Western world, the infrastructure, whatever possible way, make it happen. And I remember she's saying three sections. I know she's watching me. <laughs> uh, the safety, convenience and comfort. These three things need to be given to the students because they live away from their home to do their master or the degree. So it is very important to they feel home away from home. So I worked on it, started working on it. We had a drawing, framework was done. Then I got exposed to why don't, when I'm building a building, why don't I build a green building, sustainable building? It was very challenging though because a rest outside the country it's very easy to get all those. In India it was, it was just started actually. So there were a lot of challenges, but you know, there are so many, I don't know, it will be a long speech then, but a lot of my friends helped me to make it happen. Building was ready, we, were, we opened it, but unfortunately at that point, the pandemic hit the world. Boom, <laughs> it's like, what next? <laughs> so, okay, then the thing is, I had to survive. I was not able to transfer money from US because government has a restriction. Um, I had to run behind the local, you know, they, they wouldn't give me money because I'm a foreigner. <laughs> but somehow then I said, why don't I open up the two to flop for the hotel? Luckily, people who ever came right after the lockdown, they enjoyed this facility and they started promoting and they're giving good reviews online. Probably because of those reviews, we got award from Travel Myth. It's a European company affiliated with Booking.com. I was like, wow, that's good. We achieved something in like less than probably six months. But I was not happy because my whole point of, my intention was to come to this country. It's to do a change. You were something, contribute to this country. Working with the hospitals, you know, institution was my thing. I didn't want to get into hotel thing. And one day I got a message, WhatsApp message from Farad. And he said, we are looking for accommodation here. Are you willing? And it was the day before I was planning to have a trip to India. So I said, sir, I will come there and we'll discuss. I came to India, I was staying in uh, Niashia. Next day morning, two gentlemen walked in. 
Dr. Shiv Prasad and Dr. Gururaj. <laughs> By the way, Shiv Prasad is a very close uh, family friend, my mom, we all know, my older brother's batchmate. So it was so nice to see him after a long time. So Dr. Gururaj came and he explained, we are looking into something, and I gave him a tour about this, the same thing what I'm doing right now, marketing, self-marketing, right? <laughs> so after that they said, why don't you visit our property in Manjunadi? There's a hospital. I said, let's go. They gave a fantastic tour, they explained everything. That's when my mind it completely opened. See, for me, like Guru, uh, <coughs> Guru Sir said, Ayurveda back then, for me it was something like, you get treated in a, in a small, it's a family business. Pandita, you know, I've been treated, and a mom used to force me to drink all these bitter medicines. You know, <laughs> I even had Gomutra <laughs> for three months. I had no idea why I did it. You know, she said, just do it. See, so this is, we were lacking on something, like Ayurveda being started in this country, during Vedic era, it was not passed on to our own people. We needed to uh, educate our people. I'm, 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 I hear from past few years, government is doing a lot of work on doing that, promoting, educating students, uh, kids, actually, next generation, which is fantastic. That's, I did a little of research and I thought, this would be a perfect where I could fulfill my, plus I would be so happy to be part of the whole contribution to Ayurveda. Personally, I feel we'll be doing justice to those people who have started Ayurveda back in uh, Vedic era. So every step what we do will definitely for a good cause. So I, it was a short time period. I joined and, and said, yes, let's do it. I, then I had to come back here because I'm a very micromanager where I need to do everything by myself. <laughs> so we are here, we are. Uh, okay, the reason I told the story because for the next generation, it doesn't mean that, you know, wherever, what opportunity. You, you should be able to adapt yourself, take you care of the situation and work. It's not about the money. Money will come, but the, there should be a cause. So that cause has, should have support our own people. First thing, actually. That's how the light leads. For me, going to US, I was happy. Coming was a big challenge. It was not easy, actually. But now I'm here, I feel like I want to be here. I want to be, even though I'm living, my family is there. I will be here and be part of the whole process what we have started. So anyway, I don't want to take much time. We are, you know, everyone has to get back to work. So, uh, finally, I want to thank again everyone to be here and we'll join hands. Uh, let me hand over to Dr. Guru Raja. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Other uh, dignitaries, much has been told about Ayurveda and the necessity for a wellness center like this. I strongly believe Mangalore is being called at the hub for medical education. Yes, true, we have so many medical colleges. But unfortunately, we don't have a good Ayurvedic setup where we can cater to the public. No doubt, in the last four years, we have started Ayurvedic College, it is doing very well there, but it's for the people around uh, that area. Those who cannot afford a treatment anywhere else, they go to the Ayurvedic College and get it. But what about the people who can afford, who are looking for a better facility? Why should we deprive them of uh, their uh, chance? This idea was seeded by our pro-chancellor. Farad was always, you know, he used to look for an area where we can start. Actually, we were telling him, why can't you have a special ward in our uh, campus? Then he said, sir, we can have it, but who will come to this corner? Nobody will come to that corner. So, he was looking for uh, places. One day, suddenly, we come to know that there's a place here who is ready to offer this place. And that's how the idea started. I think this is one of the best ideas we have floated. Our idea is not only to uh, treat the patients and also give education to the people regarding the health management because in this present time everyone is having a lot of stress. Even if you look at uh, my own colleagues, I keep telling them once a week you should go and have an Ayurvedic treatment just to bring out all your stress and to be cool. When that is the case, why not the public? As you rightly said, there are people from outside who are waiting for uh, medical tourism. They want to come to India, not that they don't have the medical treatment there, but they look for places like this where they can come relax mentally, physically and go back very peacefully. For your best wishes, no person was ever honored for what he received. Honor has been the reward for what one gave. Dr. Yenepoya Abdullah Kunni, a great visionary 
who has contributed tremendously to the field of health, education and the society. Eminent dignitaries, Chief Guest Dr. Aguram Bhatta, President, Medical Assessment and Rating Board of for Indian System of Medicine, New Delhi. Renowned Music Director of Kannada Film Industry, Mr. Guru Kiran. Respected Guest of Honor, Dr. Murid Dana Sharma. Professor Emeritus, SDM College, Ayurveda, Udupi. Mr. Ramesh Bolar, Director, Niyasha Youth Hostel, Private Limited. Dr. B. H. Sripati Rao, Pro Vice Chancellor. Dr. Gurraj H. Principal, NFI Ayurved College. Members of the Medical Fraternity, friends from the media, guests, students, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to all of you. Alhamdulillah. The inauguration of Inyas Ayurved Health and well Wellness Center today is indeed a proud moment for our institution. I am immensely delighted to have inauguration done by Dr. Raghuram Bhatt, President NCISM, New Delhi, in the august presence of our eminent dignitaries. I am proudly Grateful to our chief guest, Dr. Raghuram Bhatt, renowned, renowned music director of Kannada Film Industry, Mr. Guru Kiran, as well as respected guest of honor, Dr. Muralidhar Sharma, reputed Ayurvedic practitioner and professor of emeritus, emeritus SGM College Ayurveda, Udupi, and Dr. and Director Niyash, Niyasha Ramesh Bolar for taking time of their busy schedule for, for the honor of their presence with us today. I, am thank, I thank them also for encouraging and inspiration word. I understand that. Mr. Ramesh Bolar himself is, a, is passionate about Ayurveda. I am sure that his love for Ayurveda will, will make this center one of the best centers in, in, in this area. Inshallah, this will become one of the finest wellness center with the focus of health tourism. Niyasha Ayurved Health and Wellness Center, a unit of Anapaya Ayurveda Medical College and Hospital, is at another endeavor towards fulfilling Anapaya deemed to be university's vision to bring the Ayurvedic system of medicine to the mainstream of healthcare system. It was officially launched in 2015 as Anapaya Ayurveda Health Center at Kankanadi, Mangalore. It marks the realization of yet another milestone in our founder Anapaya Moidin Kunji's vision to reach out to the masses and deliver quality health care. Ayurveda is, as you know, is ancient Indian medis medis medical system. In fact, in Sanskrit, Ayurveda is rightly defined as science of life. People today are gradually shifting towards the Ayurveda because of its immense benefit and its natural and holistic approach. I myself have been clean and keen enthusiast of Ayurveda since 2004. For over 15 years, I have been dedicatedly undergoing Ayurved care at Raja Healthy Acres Chavakar in Kerala, which is a renowned center for Ayurveda. 
it has immensely benefited me and i have seen an overall improvement in my health because of this in this context enapa ayurveda medical college and hospital brings you a premium experience in its peaceful nature is the closest companion of this campus that houses the institute offering the best healthcare education in a beautiful environment and by ayurveda the college is all set with the necessary infrastructure and facilities along with the experienced teach, teaching faculty as well as physicians the unrelented and dedicated efforts of the staff has been our institutions grow exponentially to produce outstanding ayurvedic physicians teachers and researchers today enapai ayurveda medical college and hospital stands tall ms ayush gram campus spread over 80 acres of land in the lust of greenery of naringana village just 5 kilometers from mangalore medical town derlakatte i am confident that this new campus will go a long way in befitting the the people of the region and beyond and will grow to be one of the finest in the years to come inshallah on this positive note i conclude by expressing my profound gratitude to all of you thank you one and all jai hind jai karnat what's my humble gratitude to honorable chancellor of enapoya deemed to be university for his passion towards ayurveda and delivering his presidential respected dignitaries on and off the dais distinguished guest students ladies and gentlemen good afternoon to you all uh, we have come to the fag end of the program and it is my privilege to propose the vote of thanks ayurveda care facilities and set new high standards for others who hope to emulate we are grateful to the presence of shri raghurama bhat who despite his busy schedule and pressing engagements has consented to be among us today and grace the occasion the program was livelier due to the presence of the celebrity personality shri guru kiran sir he has offered us a new line of thought thank you sir for sparing your valuable time with us no words are enough to express our respect and admiration towards our honorable chancellor dr yanapoy abdullah kunni sir who stood like a beacon illuminating his visionary path for all of us sir your presence itself is a great encouragement for us to take up any challenging task we are moved by your kind gesture and blessings we also take this opportunity to thank our honorable pro chancellor farad sir who is the chief Arch architect of this initiative and whose constant guidance has helped us to steer through the challenges and complete the task on time it is said that well begun is half done in our case we have here dr is kindly consented to do the first consultancy at the center sir we are honored and it is a great privilege to have you here i am sure that the light you have shown will clear our ways ahead director niyasha youth hostel is among with us on time by your presence here sir we express us and for the guidance that is always available to us our pro vice chancellor dr b h shripati rao sir for gracing this occasion the backbone of our college our principal dr gurraj h we thank you sir for the support and constant guidance throughout this program i also i also take this occasion to thank the press and the media people for having graced this occasion i take this occasion also to thank the presence of staff members of enpoy university in a pyramid medical college and i also express our sincere gratitude towards the organizers and service providers who really worked hard and ensured that the program is successful i need to mention my special thanks to dr zenika madam who ably completed this entire program to perfection thank you madam 
Last but not least, I thank my dear students for their enthusiastic support, which has added vibrance and beauty to this program. Thank you once again. Have a great day. Thank you. Come on.